What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be going over how to speed up your Shopify store for free. We're going to go over three really easy tips here that are easy to implement and will help boost your page speed, which should help increase your overall conversions as it's been shown that customers do spend more money when pages load faster as they're able to view the products and you're going to get less bounces, making your traffic convert at a higher rate. So make sure you stay to the end of the video here as we're going to go over some really easy tips. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. It's going to come with a 15-day free trial. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. Now I'm just going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's dive into the first tip here. And that first tip is just going to be image compression. Shopify homepage images, product images, collection images can be quite large in size depending where you get the files from. And when you're loading a web page, anything that's larger is going to take longer to download, which is going to slow down the speed of your Shopify site. So you want to make sure that all your images are compressed. If you don't know what image compression is. It's going to reduce the density and the quality of some of the pixels, but overall the image is going to look the same to the human eye. It's just going to be less size heavy, making it faster to download. And so there are two ways to do that for your Shopify store. The manual way is going to be using tiny png we're going to upload your images here and once you upload the images it's going to compress them one by one you can download them and then re-upload them to your shopify website this is great for banner images collection images more one-off images here but i'm guessing most of you will have shopify product stores with quite a few product images what you want to do is use a image compression app available on the shopify app store there are a ton of great options here we can see there's SEO image compression, crush.pix is a big one as well, Swift page or page speed optimizer. These are all gonna have different pricing plans and they will be based on the number of images you have. What it's gonna do is just decrease the file size for each of your images and then automatically re-upload it to Shopify store, making it super easy here. Some have manual uploaders as well as watermark attachments as well. So you can watermark your product images. If you go through crush picks as well, it's the same thing. You can set it by different products, different collections. And it's gonna automatically do that for you, making it super easy. So the pricing plans are going to depend on if you want to do the number of files or if crush picks, it has the file size. You can also do things such as SEO and alt tag renaming. So overall, this is the first really easy way to speed up your Shopify site. As e-commerce stores are very image heavy, so compressing your images is going to be a really good first step. So the second tip we have is going to be to remove excess code. This can be from different Shopify apps that have been loaded onto your website. As each app you add is going to add a JavaScript file or multiple CSS files, which are also going to take longer to download. And so the way you're going to check for that here is you want to get your store URL and we're going to go to page speed insights as well as the pingdom website speed test these are both website testers here so you just want to enter your URL and hit analyze and do that for both of these here and so once you load it it's going to give you optimization ideas and strategies to help improve the page speed performance score of your website now there's going to be some of these here where you're not going to be able to edit and it's going to be done by Shopify but if you kind of open these up here it's going to give you an idea of what it is and this theme.scss this looks to be the theme for the Shopify store. So I might want to consider switching themes there as this is a free theme and it seems to be quite heavy. I can see the images don't have an explicit width and height. So it could mean optimizing my logo size here as it's looking like my Shopify store has to resize that on a load. There's going to be quite a few suggestions here based on your Shopify store. So they're all things you should look into. So another great way to view the speed score here is going to go to the view report about your store page speed from Shopify. And the way you get to that is go to the left-hand side, you want to hit online store and you want to hit view report for online store page speed. It's going to be great because it's going to show your page score over time so you can see if the improvements you made made a difference or not. So you can essentially see your page score over time along with different apps that were added that improved or worsened your page speed score here. It's going to give you a ranking. So this one is faster than similar stores. So we take a look at Pinkdom next. It's going to give a little more detail as it's going to break things down by image size. We can see this is taking out most of the homepage here along with different tips on how to compress different content as well as how fast your page is going to load. Sometimes there will be JavaScript that's loaded on your page from apps that you've removed previously. Although Shopify has gotten much better at requiring apps to remove that code itself. If you ever want to check manually, you head into the online store theme section, head over to actions, then head over to edit code here. And on the left hand side, you want to hit theme.liquid, which is kind of like the template or the homepage or in the overall template for everything in your Shopify store. If you pay attention to the head section here, you may see different things that are loaded. Typically we'll say something, the app name here, 
in a script tag just like this. And you could possibly remove that if it's showing that it's slowing down your store significantly. Something to be careful here is that when you change this stuff, it can be hard to get back. So something I would always recommend here is to head over to actions and first duplicate your theme here to make sure you always have a backup that you can go back to if you do end up removing something you weren't supposed to. The third and last tip here will be just to simply removing your homepage slider and just put a banner image instead. If we take a look at this chart here done by a Mobify study, we can see that the people that click on the extra sliders here is gonna be extremely low and it's gonna decay, especially when we get to the later slides. Really having a lot of slides in your homepage Customers aren't really gonna click it, so there's almost no point in having it here. Additionally, most customers would just head down to the collections or the certain product that they're looking for. So if you take a look at this site, it just has one image with a description here covering kind of the main points. As each slider here is gonna have a separate image that's gonna load, increasing the amount of files that your customer has to download in their browser to first load your website. We also wanna increase the speed time here. So for most stores, you can just remove the slider and add a static banner image. Plus, I just wanna go over Shopify's article here as they do a really good job of describing factors you can't control and factors you can control, which is gonna help give you an overall idea of well, or as well on what you can optimize on your site using the several tools we described as well as going over the several tips. So factors you can't control, you can't control your customer's device, network, or location. If your customer has slow internet, you're not gonna be able to do anything about that. So there's no point in really worrying about it there. Next one's gonna be Shopify infrastructure. Shopify does have tons of global servers out there and they're constantly making improvements, but you can't optimize this infrastructure. So you can't optimize the content delivery network, the CDN, the local browser cache. So the browser can load things from a cache or a saved cache rather than loading them completely again, which it can speed things up for repeat customers. You can't optimize the server side page cache, as well as the assets inside the content for header liquid tag in the code. So again, if we open go over to the factors you can control here to so control the apps so if you have a lot of apps that are adding a lot of extra functionality this can slow down your shopify store and we can use those tools described such as pingdom and google page speed insights to see which apps are slowing down your store the next one's going to be the theme certain themes are going to be faster than others some are more optimized especially some of the paid ones as they put more work into the development theme features can also slow things down the system font can change the speed and so you can choose a theme that is optimized performance the example they give here is the Don Shopify theme, which is a free OS 2.0 theme that has been optimized for speed. Plus, we went over images and videos again. So oversized images and videos can make the web page take a lot longer to load. Videos especially as they can be very data heavy. Fonts can also slow things down if you have a custom font set up. So overall, those are the recommended ones by Shopify on factors that you can control and can control here. I thought this would be a great overview at the end of the video to give you more of an explanation. So this concludes the video on free Shopify speed tips here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. So make sure you check that out there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.